Here's a little body language breakdown between Rivia and Stewie. I'm gonna let you guys watch it once through and then we'll break it down in slow motion. Lots going on here. So Stewie starts sniffing Rivia. She's uncomfortable, but returns the sniff, which is very polite. That being said, she stepped into him. So she's also leaning into his space. You can see his tail flares. He turns his head away and starts walking to uh, walking away and behind her. Um, he's going to return the sniff, but she's a little uncertain about him. They don't fully trust each other. So as he makes his way to the back she's watching him leaning into his space she's also between him and me so she's being a little bit possessive so him going behind her that's her vulnerable side she's not a fan of that so she starts circling around him because she wants to be in a strategically more um, advantageous position Stewie is happy to return to my side because now he gets to be con semi in control of my space Rivia is now behind him, so on his vulnerable side. So she feels safer there because she can control the interaction between the two of them uh, more easily because he's in front of her. So she goes to sniff him, and uh, in a moment here, he feels her nose as she's sniffing, and he decides that she sniffs a little bit too long, which is technically true, but her demeanor was pretty soft, which is good. So he turns his head around to say, okay, I'm aware of you. Now he's going into a bit of a freeze, which is him saying, that's enough. She's not backing off. And so he's slowly getting ready to escalate. I read this and I place my hand in between knowing that Stewie may snap at her. So I'm indicating to him to knock it off that he has another option here. He can move on instead. This is one of Stewie's areas of work is sometimes he would rather correct than walk away. So I'm telling him, here's your answer. Rivia's checking out my hand, um, a little bit unaware of Stewie's demeanor. So I, I kind of bump her off and then bump him to let him know, no, you don't need to go after her. 
Watch how Rivia watches me. She's fully aware of what I'm doing here. She's allowing me to guide Stewie and handle the situation. I ask Stewie to move on. He's a stubborn little man and he decides uh, that he has to think about it for a second and he's not gonna take my first ask. So I escalate my ask by going between them with my whole body, not just my hand, saying, no, this is not an option. This is gonna happen. I'm gonna follow through and make sure this happens and I'm advocating for Rivia here. Watch her allow me to do this. She's also aware of him making these decisions. Look at his little tail flare up and I go, no, you need to move on. This is a more pro-social option for you to walk away. She's not aggressing on you. She maybe was a little, she lingered too long, was a little socially awkward or rude, not a big deal. Notice I point off the porch and he chooses to walk to the other side of the porch. This is his way of saying, fine, I'll give you what you want, but in my own way. See how he turns right here towards Rivia? He's thinking about making a point. Um, so he yielded a little bit of space, but then he's turning back around, flaring his tail a little bit. I start following through going, no, your intent is not appropriate. You need to back off and give more space. So he takes another step to the side, drops his tail a little bit, uh, turns his head away to display that he's listening, but me knowing him and how stubborn he is, I ask for additional space because I know he hasn't let go of his little grudge against Rivia. So asking for more space is really kind of honing in on me um, asking him to yield and let it go. Look at Rivia watching me this whole time. She's so smart. So Stewie has committed to staying there and I back off, which is me letting him know I appreciate what he's done for me in that moment and letting it go. And we go back to being neutral. And uh, Rivia is going to get a little pat on the head. What a good girl she was for letting me handle it. She didn't have to handle it. And this was a great little conversation.